today we'll be doing our second lesson of Roman numerals. Hi Naya, so we did part one of Roman numerals before and can you remember what numbers we learned? 1 to 20. So today we'll be carrying on and we're going all the way up to... 100! Okay, brilliant. But before we start, we need to do a recap. We need to go through some of the things that we've learned before just to make sure that we understand. So I'm going to ask you a few questions. Yes. And you just tell me the answer. Yes. So can you tell me what letter we use for the number one? I. Very good, night. What letter do we use to represent number five? V. Okay. What about number ten? X. X. So that's the ones that we used last time. Today we're going to include two more in our lesson. Do you know what they are? L and C. So what is the value of the L? 50. What's the value of the C? 100. Okay, very good. So can you start off, Niall, by placing numbers 4, 5 and 6 on the board using the Roman numeral? And then you want 5? Five? 5 under the 4. Bring that eye down. Good. Okay, Niall. So we have the numbers 4, 5 and 6 on the board using Roman numerals. Can you explain, can you start with the 5? What letter do we use for the value of 5? V. V. And can you explain why the top one is 4? Because if you put um, the smaller number in front of the bigger number, then you're taking away the smaller number from the bigger number. So the calculation is? 4. So it's 5 take away 1, which is 4. Very good. And why is the bottom one 6? Because when you put a smaller number um, to the right of a bigger number, um, then you add it together. So the calculation is? 5 plus 1, which equals 6. Okay. So the smaller number is after. So you said the right, so you can say the right or you can say after. So yeah. either one works. Okay. And if what happens if somebody's watching this video and they don't really understand what we've done there? What should they do? Go to our first v video, our first lesson of Roman numerals. And maybe you'll get a you'll understand a bit more from that. Exactly, because, because we we're not all of we're this. just doing a recap here. We're not actually doing a whole video on this. Okay, we're just doing a recap. Yeah. So we're not doing the start. So they can go back and have a look. So brilliant. So just because of that, Niall, can you show us three more numbers and let's see if everyone at home can guess what they'll look like before you get it done. So I want you to do the numbers 9, 10, you don't have to do it too quickly, 9, 10 and 11. Okay Niles, so what numbers do you have there? I have 9, 10 and 11. Excellent. And can you explain again to us? So when the smaller number is in front of the bigger number, then you take away. You take away the smaller number from the bigger number. So the calculation here is 10 take away 1, which equals to 9. And then x is equal to 10, so that's 10. And xi the smaller numbers is after, so that means you add it, and that means the calculation is 10 plus 1, which equals 11. Very good, nine. Brilliant. So can you show us what 20 is? Okay, so what do you have there? I have 20. Very good. Why is it 20? 
Because if they're both the same number, then you always add it together. And x is equal to 10. So 10 plus 10 equals 20. Okay, brilliant. So what we're going to do from here is we're going to count up from 20. So 20 is? X, X. 21. X, X, I. 22. X, X, I, I. 23. X, X, I, I, I. Very good. 24. X, X, I, V. Very good. Can you do 24 on the board and explain to us why it's 24? Go! Okay, so... So, x plus x is 20. Mm -hmm. So, that's 20, yeah? And then 4 is IV because the smaller number is in front, so you take it away. So, it's 5 take away 1, which is 4. And then because the smaller number in the, all of this, which is 4, is after, then you add it with the 20, so it's 24. Excellent, Niall. Very good explanation. So can you take those down? Why don't you show us, as you have those ones up, what's 25? And 20, 10 plus 10, and then V is equal to 5, and the smaller number is after, so you add it together, which is 25. Okay, so that's 25. Now 26. So we can see the combination starting to get longer. Mm -hmm. 28. Now for 29, are you going to add on an I there? No. Why not? Because you can't have three, more than three, more than letters, three letters in a row. In a row. So what am I going to do for 29? Okay. Um, so, this is 20. Let's see. Here is my 20. Mm -hmm. And then this is 9 because the bigger number is after. Mm -hmm. So that means you take away the smaller number from the bigger number. And that, so that's 10 and that's 1. So 10 take away 1 equals 9. Mm -hmm. And then this is 20. And then we have to combine these two together. And because the smaller number is after, you add it together with the bigger number. And then this is 20, this is 9, so, so 20 you add plus 9. 9 onto the 20 and you get? 29. 29. Very good, Niall. Excellent explanation. Okay, Niall. So we've done 20 to 29. And it's going to be the same thing. 30 to 39. You just add the numbers onto the 30. So what you really need to know now is what 30 looks like. So how do we write 30? X, X, X. Very good. So if we had 32, it would be? X, 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 I, I. Very good. That would be 32. So what would 37 be? X, X, X. V, I, I. Excellent. Now it starts getting interesting from, let's do 39. Let's start from 39. X. Can you do that on the board? Can you do that one on the board for me? 39. What kind 
little magic is that? <laughs> Why did that happen? <laughs> Thirty-nine. Okay, that makes sense. Can you point the thirty out for us? So the thirty is this. Okay, and now add the nine in. And then you put the nine in. You add it together. Thirty plus nine is thirty-nine. Okay, very good. Now, can you remove the I and join the X's together? Okay, so after 39, what's the next number? 40. Is that 40? No. Can you explain? You can't, you can't have three, you can't have more than three letters in a row. Okay, so we've got four letters there. So what are we going to do to get 40? What are we going to introduce now that we're going to see? The L, okay, which is equal to 50. Can you remind everyone what's the value of the L? 50! Okay, so what are you going to do to create the number 40 now? Um, I'm going to take away 10 from 50. Very good. So I'll take these down. So I'll introduce my L. Okay, so what number is that now? 40. Why is it 40? Because the L is 50 and the X is 10. And when you put the smaller number in front of the bigger number, that means you're taking it away, the smaller number away from the bigger number. So that's 50 take away 10, which is equal to 40. Brilliant, Naya. And after that, we just add on the 1, 2, 3, like we normally would for and 41, 42, four. 43, 44, yeah. and so on. So now we're going to go straight into our next tens. What comes after 40 if we're counting up in tens? 50! Okay, can you show us what 50 is? 50! Brilliant. Okay, so that's 50. Excellent. So how would you write? 55. Okay, nine. Now let's jump to 60. Okay, can you explain? The... wait a minute, yes. So, the smaller number is after the bigger number. So that means you're adding it together. So... 50 plus 10 equals 60. Good, 70. Good, and 80. <laughs> okay, so you got 80 there. Now, Niall, what comes after 80 if we're counting up in tens? 90. 90. How are we going to do 90? We're bringing out the biggest number I have. Bringing out the big guy. So what is the C? What is the value of the C? 100. So how are you going to create the 90? I am going to take away 10 from 100. Excellent, Niall. Brilliant. So... Okay, the C is equal to 100 and the X is equal to 10. And the smaller number is in front, so you're taking away the smaller number from the bigger number. So 10 take away, I mean 100 take away 10 equals 90. Okay, show us 100 now. 100. 100. Excellent, Niall. Really, really good. What time is it, Niall? Quiz time! Are you ready for this? I am so ready. Okay. Using Roman numerals, how would you write the number 32? XXXII. Very good. How would you write the number 41? Um, so, XLI. Very good, Niall. 
What about 57? L-V-I-I. -I. Very good now. What about 39? X, 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 I, X. Very good. What about the number 40? Um, XL. Good. Can you tell me 90? Exit. Good job. What about seventy-eight? X. No. Wait. L X X. Um. V I I I. Very good, Nile. It's very impressive. Now I'm now going to give you the Roman numerals, and I want you to tell me what the number value is. Okay. What is X C I? X ninety one. Very good, Nile. What is X X X V I I? Wait. X, 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 V, I, I. That is 37. Very good, Niall. Okay, Niall. What is X, C, I, V? X, C, 94. Very good, Niall. And now that comes to the end of our video. Who's got there? This is Frankie!